The report released by the UDC on Wednesday has revealed fraud control failures, financial misstatements, and insufficient processes, which the auditors said could lead to revenue leaks of more than a million dollars yearly if not fixed. One of the major findings of the report is that the processes, controls, and documentation enable theft, misappropriation, and abuse of assets. The report says allegations were raised that in some instances, cashiers collected money for non-resident tickets and entered resident ticket sales into the system, keeping the difference. Opposition spokesman on tourism Dr. Wickham McNeil says it should not have taken so long for SADCO to investigate. They have given us very technical answers. Yes, there's some degree of fraud. Yes, ticket sales float the roof. All of these things. The question is, if you saw this thing, if you are on a board and you see every month you're selling $12,000, all of a sudden you're selling 57000 It as a, a board overseeing these things with this level of revenue should have picked up something earlier. Dr. McNeil also observes how significant the impropriety in ticket sales was. The issue of the substituting of tickets, whether they are children's tickets or resident or non-resident tickets. It's increased phenomenally, 2017 over 2016. It's something that really jumps out at you. It jumped to, to, to over 50,000 resident tickets, looking nearly three or four times what the norm was. The UDC says it's establishing an independent and objective program management office which will be required to drive sustainable change. It says short-term plans will be enacted within the next two weeks and actions from the medium-term plan will span a period of at least three months. Javin McLean, Frontline News.